Hello, good afternoon VC, this is Steve here. <clears throat> you can tell by the wall deco, I'm not at home in Shropshire, I'm uh, down south again. Um, I came down yesterday, I'm only here for a few days, going home either between Monday or Wednesday, haven't decided yet, but it's just mainly for the weekend. You know what happens when I, when I go down south, I always end up in a record store, i.e. the Rock Box in Cambly. Um, it's right opposite the uh, Sandhurst Barracks if you're in the army. Um, it's like round here, we call it Army Town because you've got Aldershot, Arbuthel, which, which is now closed down. Uh, Zeke the Final Geek will be interested. It's all military round here. And uh, I've just been past the barracks and uh, the traffic's horrendous, the weather's horrendous. So I thought, you know, I might as well go to a record store. Uh, there might be something good in there. And there was. <clears throat> and uh, I had a weird experience last night because I went to bed and about three o'clock I, I, I thought I'd died you know I thought I'd died in my sleep because all I could hear was Barry Manilow and uh, singing could it be magic and I thought man this is it I'm dead this is what the afterlife's like I'm being tormented by Barry Manilow and apparently my cousin was playing his music downstairs but he gave me a right shot because I thought uh, you know this you know this is the afterlife you know being tormented by Barry it was a real terrible experience. You can imagine why I'm a bit shaky this morning. So uh, I went to the rock box this morning. Um, as I say, this is military town. About 17 mile away is Windsor Castle, and Elton John lives there. Um, he's like he thinks he's the king of England, I think, but uh, he lives there. And uh, quite a few other uh, pop stars. I think Gary Newman used to live there as well. And I'm pretty sure that's where John Bonham died because uh, Jimmy Page bought a house in Windsor and uh, that's where John Bonham died, I'm pretty sure of that as well. But uh, without further ado, you have to excuse me voice again, um, I'm going to show you a few CDs. The first one is, I'm, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure I've got this one, uh, it's Passion and Warfare by Stevie Vai. Uh, if anybody wants this as a uh, CD, hook me up down below and I'll send it to you. But that's providing I haven't got it, but I'm pretty sure I have. Um, but uh, yeah, so I got this one, and uh, another one I got this morning <coughs> was Man of War, um, The Triumph of Steel, great band. Never liked them back in the day. I've only sort of started listening to them the last couple of years, but uh, they are a decent, awesome band. But back in the day, I thought they were too sort of like the opera version of heavy metal, and the records just went on, you know, far too long. It's, I found it very tedious, but now it's just brilliant. I just can't get enough of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, next one will be uh, one for Scott Waters. Um, this is uh, an Irish band called Mama's Boys. I bought this this morning. Um, it's uh, the Professor J John McManus. I think, was it his brother? I can't remember, but I think they were brothers, if I remember rightly. But I think uh, this is the album anyway. But um, yeah, it's a great uh, band. I think they're from Belfast, but I'm not sure whether it's Northern Ireland or Southern Ireland. I know they're Irish, but uh, a great band. Now this is uh, this next segment is dedicated to Greg Blackmore Rules. Cause the, this ne next one will be right up his street. I'll show you the one I bought. This is a blind buy, and this is a band called Lone Star. I think um, Paul Chapman might have played with UFO, I might be wrong on that, but I know he had a connection, but this was a total blind buy to me, and uh, it's a rock album, and uh, I picked it up, it was only four quid, uh, it's in cracking condition, and uh, what I heard of it, it sounded really, really good, but uh, there's the back of it as well, um, just know nothing about it. Uh, if anybody does, hit me up. I'm, I'm, I'll bet. I'm not a betting man, but I bet Greg knows something about it. But this next one was a blind buy, and I've already heard most of it, and it's absolutely brilliant, Greg. I don't know if you ever come across it before, but a band called Trash. This seriously does rock. Um, you had Tony Foy Taylor on vocals, Mike Muck McCodum or Mojo McCodum on guitars, Gene Ball on guitars, K Coder on bass and Hempo Hobo. And we've been listening to this record this morning and it seriously does the business. It's sort of like rock, 
uh, stroke metal. I wouldn't call it metal. I'd call it very rocky. But uh, it's just an awesome uh, record on the Atlantic on the Atlantic like oops Atlantic label. I've just realised it hasn't got an inner sleeve. Oops, should have checked that one. But uh, yeah, it's just a cracking album anyway. Uh, it may have had an inner, but it's probably got lost. I'll have to rectify that. Sorry about that. We didn't notice that one. But I just checked this one's got an inner sleeve. This next one was Great White. This is Jack when Jack Russell was with him. A great. I haven't got this one in the collection, so I picked this one up. This one didn't cost a lot either. That's the track listing for it. It's got a nice cover on the front. And uh, the next album was awesome. Um, I've heard this album mentioned a lot on the VC. And uh, I know, uh, I think Greg's mentioned it. It's the Pat Travers Band. Uh, I know nothing about this band whatsoever. All I liked about this record is on red vinyl. And... Uh, to take it out you can see it's on the on the red uh, vinyl but that's about as far as I know about this record I know nothing else about it at all so if anybody can hit me up in the comments uh, I'm sure Greg will know but um, it's just you know nothing to sort of uh, uh, I know much about this band um, but uh, yeah I just shouldn't do that really but I'll put it in there the next three are the crown jewels of the collection and uh, these are uh, the eye poppers. Um, the first one is a band called, by, they're a sort of a newish band. <laughs> they go by the name of Saxon. This is Wheels of Steel, but this is a Japanese import. It's sort of got an Obi strip. Um, it's a cracking album. I think it's on the Crayer labels, or it's got all those tracks on it. But it has got the Obi strip, this Japanese import. Had to have this. Amazing condition and uh, it's just awesome awesome band and really like this one uh greg you'd like this one mate but you ain't got a record player of it but uh, yeah but um <coughs> awesome album the next one is i'm going to show it but it's not heavy metal uh also why i want to show it is i'm just looking at the time seven uh, seven and a half minutes i never see this band mentioned or shown on the vc and uh, I want to show it because I think I could be the first, but I may not be. And that's this band, Sparks. And I believe this is their first album. And I had to pick this one up. It's in beautiful condition. The big hit on here was This Town Ain't Big Enough for the Both of Us. Now, I've been a Sparks fan since this record came out. I used to own a lot of stuff by Sparks, but unfortunately no more. But uh, that's Ron and Russell Mayer at the back. They were, I think, they're from California originally. They're just amazing. They were sort of, they still are today because they just had a new album called Hippopotamus, and uh, they're sort of very, very pioneering. Um, what these do now, somebody else will be doing in sort of ten years' time. But you just can't get enough of their music. I know it's not heavy metal, but I really like it. I'm only showing this album because I've never seen anybody talk about Sparks on the VC. I may be wrong or shown any, any um, um, Sparks stuff, but this is called a kimono in my house. Uh, it's just wacky stuff, but with Sparks, especially the newer stuff, I really like it because it always has a significant edge uh, as well. But I've always been a massive fan of Sparks, and um, yeah, it's just a great, great band. But uh, there they are there. The two brothers are from California. But I'm saving the last one to last. It is the best pickup by far. And it's my favourite Slayer album. Woo! Yes, and it's vinyl. And, uh, oh man, I was shaking like a leaf when I saw this. Um, just a pristine album. Um, it's just a beauty and um, I'll give you a look at it you don't see many of these in the record store you know how unlucky I am in life because I'll get it out yep yeah, it's just a beautiful beautiful album um, that's the centre uh, for any of you who don't know what it's called it's Seasons of the Abyss um, I love this album. It's just my favourite uh, Slayer album. I know some of the people like Rain in Blood or uh, some of the early stuff. This album ticks it, does it for me. 
Um, it's just that these my go-to sort of Slayer album. I play their stuff, but it's in great condition. It's got War Ensemble, which is a cracking song, and Dead Skin Mask. I know I've discussed that track before, but I'm not going to discuss it on this video. Um, if you don't know what it means, Google it. But it's about basically about American mass murder, and that's all I want to say on the subject. But I'll just show you the inner. It's on the Death American Death Jam, and that's the lyric sheet. And you get a picture there. As we all know, they're splitting up this year. It's the final, t the farewell tour. But I just could not. I thought it was one of those 180 grammars when I first saw it. I think it's 1990 it came out. I'm pretty sure it was around about that age. But it's just amazing. Probably the best pickup of this year by far. Um, getting the original Slayer album. They, um, you know, I got it for a very good price as well. So this stuff is, as you know, is very, very expensive. But I hope great, great cover. And uh, some people don't like it, don't give it a lot of love in the VC. Uh, me personally, I love it. It's, it is my favourite uh, album. Um, other people prefer the other one, earlier stuff, like the uh, early 80s to the 90s. But I, this, this ticks all the boxes for me with Slayer. It's just my own personal favourite. And uh, it's what I like. But uh, that's my offering um, today. I don't think they'll, I might go back to the record store on Monday to have another mooch. I did go to the charity shop today, but there was nothing in there. All I got was was a Strangler CD, and uh, I did get a Clash CD as well from the record store. But because of time, I'm not going to show them. But that's basically what I got today. But I'm really sort of uh, I'm not gloating or anything like that. Far far beyond it. I'm just shocked to pick up an original Slayer albums. Um, they don't come along very often in England. I don't know what it's like in the States, but uh, there's a metallic, I think it's Kill 'em All, it's 50 quid, uh, well beyond my price range. Uh, when you come across original Slayer albums, it's very rare. Reissues are simple, because I think they reissued all their catalogue now. But uh, for original pressing, especially when it's my very, very uh, favourite album. Anyway, VC, and uh, I just want to wish everybody uh, a great hunt when, if you're going record hunting. Uh, just generally be kind to each other and be nice to each other. I'm really enjoying the VC just recently. It's really, really good. Um, there's some great films um, being made as well, so I'd like to congratulate everyone. And uh, t keep the peace, folks. Take care. Bye.